the Gora de Squidnissing, a return to the competition of great powers, and the rivalry at sea is no exception. Until now, the US Navy, Russia, Japan, or China are in the hands of the leading trophy warships in the world. Speaking of cruisers, Russia owns the largest cruisers on the planet with 4 kilo class cruisers, which have a full displacement of up to 28,000 tons, an impressive figure. But in terms of quality and modernity, the Russian Navy currently has no warship class comparable to the US Navy's Ticonderoga class cruiser. As the early cruiser class and the price of the US Navy, Ticonderoga class ships began to be built from 1980 to 1994, were designed to be elements of carrier battle groups or amphibious ready groups, as well as performing missions such as interdiction or escort. It is also the first US Navy warship equipped with ANSPY-1 radar, SM-2 missile system, and Aegis combat system. The US Navy has owned up to 27 of these state-of-the-art cruisers with comprehensive attack and ballistic missile defense capabilities. Despite eliminating five units in 2004 and 2005, the number of remaining cruisers show the superiority of the US Navy to any Navy forces in the world. The first ship of this series, DDG-47, was ordered and approved for financial budgets in 1978 on demand as a guided missile destroyer. But then, in January 1980, while in the process of framing and hauling, she was reclassified into a Taekwondo class cruiser and re-identified as CG-47. The new cruiser's design was based on the Sprurance class destroyer. She has a characteristic semi-cylindrical elongated shape that reaches the bow, extending up to 85% of its length. On the bow of the ship is placed a special hydrail with a length of about 40 meters and a height of about 1.4 meters to reduce the impact of ocean waves in bad weather on the 127mm cannon and the Mark 41 vertical launch systems. To avoid the vibration and strong impact with ocean waves, the Hull Cruisers is equipped with a stabilization system. The steel lights around the hull are also designed to reduce the impact of the waves on the sides and hull. Initially, the ships were designed with a displacement of 6,900 tons. After adjusting the design, the displacement was increased to 9,600 tons. Other specifications of the ship include a length of 172.8 meters, a beam of 16.8 meters, and a draft of 10.2 meters. These ships' superstructures were a modification of that on the Sporans class destroyers. Behind the bridge and in the middle of the architecture of the deck is the radar antenna. The ship is made of super durable materials such as aluminum alloy, synthetic resin, and wear-resisting coatings. The magazines were protected by 25mm thick steel plates. The most important part of the superstructure is protected by honeycomb steel plates. The top floor is covered with a layer of anti-wear and anti-rust vinyl. Compared with other US warships, the Ticonderoga class cruiser has increased the crew area. The living compartments are located on the space between the hull and the deck. The small bunk beds are assembled into blocks with six beds and are separated by thin partitions. The designers also arranged small compartments for rest and study. The Ticonderoga cruisers are capable of operating in enemy areas that using destructive weapons on a large scale. There are no windows on the deck and hull. Work and living compartments 
are equipped with air filtration equipment. The Ticonderoga class are equipped with the Aegis combat system, which integrates the ship's electronic sensors and weapon systems to engage anti-ship missile threats. This system is a combination of the ANSP-Y-1 multifunction radar, the command and decision system, Aegis display system, and the weapon control system. Two pair face array radars automatically detect and track air contacts to beyond 322 km. Under the U.S. Navy's Grizzers Modernization Program, the Ticonderoga Grizzers will be upgraded to the latest Aegis Baseline 7.1 system. The upgrade began in 2008. In addition, the Ticonderoga class is equipped with the Lockheed Martin ANSQQ-89 sonar, combines hull mounted active search and attack sonar and passive tow array. The ship is equipped with the ANSLQ-25 Nixie tow torpedo decoy and 6 to 8 Mark 36 6 barrel launchers for SRBOC, which fire infrared decoys and traff. The ship's electronic support missiles and counter missile system is the Raytheon ANSLQ-32. The ship is equipped with four General Electric LM-25 Red Glass turbine engines, drive two shots with controllable pitch propellers. The total capacity is 86,000 horsepower, helping the ship reach a maximum speed of 32.5 knots, a range of 6,000 nautical miles at 20 knots, and 3,300 nautical miles at 30 knots. Ticonderoga is armed to the teeth with two 127mm guns, one at the bow and the other at the stern, which capable of firing 32kg shells to a target range of 22km at a maximum fire rate of 20 rounds a minute. The point defense weapon system is two 20mm flanks Block 1B, capable of firing 3,000 to 4,000 rounds a minute to a target range of 1.5 km. This system is used to deal with short-range incoming missiles and enemy aircraft, which have penetrated the outer defenses. In addition, the ship is also equipped with two 25mm Mark 38 gun, two to four 12.7mm machine gun, Five first Ticonderoga class warships were installed with two Mark 26 missile launchers that supported RIM 66 standard and RUR 5 ASROC missiles. The remaining ships were later replaced by two Mark 41 vertical launch systems, allowed the ship to have 122 missile stories and launching tubes that can carry a wide variety of missiles, including the Tomahawk cruise missile. Standard Surface to Air Missile, Evil Sea Sparrow Surface to Air Missile, and ASROC Anti Submarine Warfare Guided Rockets. More importantly, the VLS enables all missiles to be on full standby at any given time, shortening the warship's response time before firing. For anti surface ships, two for cell launchers for RGM 84 Harpoon Surface to Surface Missile System are installed on the gun deck at the stern of the ship. This missile has a range up to 125 km. For anti-submarine warfare, the ship was installed a cheaper 324mm jet torpedo launcher. It's capable of launching the Mark 32 torpedo. The U.S. Navy is proposing soon to decommission six of its 22 Ticonderoga class cruisers. If this happens, which could be an opportunity for close U.S. partners, which could be awarded or acquired this warship, although the Ticonderoga cruiser might seem outdated to the U.S. Navy, but compared to other warships that most other nations use, they are still much more powerful.
my video of Taekwondo grab glass ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.